Hi, it's Mandy Leahy from MyPassionForScrapbooking.com and I'm so excited to share with you the new Art Philosophy Cricut cartridge that's exclusive to Close to My Heart. This is so exciting for me. It's definitely a must-have cartridge if you're a scrapbooker, card maker, paper crafter, and let me show you why. So you'll get this case. It comes in the new case with your cartridge, your booklet, and here's the keypad. Now on my blog, I've raved about how you can cut up to 700 images, but by looking at this, you're probably wondering how you're able to do that. And let me show you. Over here, there's some feature keys. This is layer, decorative layer, tag, card, font, font layer. So all of those features will make a different image by clicking on you know, the layer, and you'll get a layered version of whatever you're clicking on. Also, the shift button utilizes the ones here in the gray. So you'll click shift, this one here, and you'll get a butterfly. But if you don't click shift, you'll get the scallop circle. So this way you get two images with each button you're push pushing, as well as you know six of these different looks over here. So let me walk you through the booklet so you guys can check out all the fun images that you'll be able to create with this cartridge. Here is an example that's in here. It's a rosette birthday card. It shows the 3D flowers that you can create with just a click of a button. It does all the cuts for you. So literally all you need to do is wind it up. You just spin, 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 put some glue on the end and you're set. And I'll definitely include some tutorials on my channel for you so you guys can see how to create those. And then this is the scalloped oval and um, it's just made into a card. So let's get to it. I'll show you, um, I'll flip through the book. Here is just one button on it. So it has a circle and a flower, but by utilizing the layer key, you'll get a ring around it or you'll get the top of the flower and then you have this as your base. There's also a decorative layer, a tag, the card, and the font. You'll get all your numbers, your uppercase, lowercase, punctuation, and then they also have you know special features. This is a 3D box. And then we have snowflakes and stars, the numbers, um, cute dragonfly. I love this postage stamp. You can easily mat your photos with that or make it into a card, do journaling on it. Tons of fun things that you can do. There's hearts and snowflakes and ornaments, flowers, banners, tags, um, this Christmas tree. And as you're looking through the 2011 Close to My Heart Autumn Winter Idea Book, you'll notice that there's a red outline around several stamps throughout the book. And what that means is that there is an image that you can cut on our cartridge um, that goes with that stamp set. So when you get your stamp set, it'll have like a two inch on it. You'll just cut it to two inches on your Cricut, stamp it, and you're good to go. You no longer need to cut it all out, and especially the ones with little intricate cuts. Um, and I'll show you a couple examples of those when I show you the stamp sets. But um, it's such a time saver. And then we have the scallop circles. And if you've checked out my YouTube channel, you'll know I love doing paper flowers. And I always use a two inch scallop circle punch. So now I love this. That's gonna save me time. I can cut a bunch out at once and I can do any size that I want. So I can go up to you know a huge circle, make a gargantuous flower if I wanted to, or I can do tiny little ones. So I'm really excited. As you can tell, there's branches and leaves. And this, this um, alphabet is so cute. You get your lowercase, uppercase, and there's also a font layer that adds these three little dots in here. And it's perfect. You can stick a little tiny brad through it or um, leave it as is, put rhinestones on it, do what you want, but it's um, awesome that you get a full alphabet along with all of these images and tags and everything you could possibly need. There's flowers, butterflies. Now here's an example of how it cuts with a tag. By using the butterfly, it puts a little, um, like a window of a butterfly, so it cuts out the butterfly on your tag. Or the card, it does the window on the front of the card, so when you open it up, it's see-through right there. I just love it. The house, a branch. And I don't know about you, but I have a ton of those spellbinder dies. I have this one in particular. And I no longer have a need to get out my cuddle bug with my spellbinder and, you know, put more work into it when I can just use this one cartridge on my Cricut, cut as many as I need, or, you know, do it on an individual basis when I'm working on a particular page. Um, I don't need those anymore. There's fine brackets and... So many fun Christmas images. These I love. I use these a lot on scrapbook pages. And right now I use the stamp and then cut it out. So right now I can cut this out, stamp on it, and then you put like 
pull or read me, things like that to indicate to pull it out for your journaling. There's these super fun pennant banners, really popular right now. Um, if you have a Cricut expression or an imagine, you can make them really big and do like a banner for a party, or you can keep them small and do them like on the corner of a scrapbook page or um, on a card. There's so many fun things that you can do with that. Cute little bird, and then the layer is the wing. So you'll just cut this out and put the wing right on top of your bird if you'd like. Christmas trees, trees, vases, butterflies. A Easter egg, you can make a cute little Easter egg card or a spring card with the flowers. Um, there's corners for your photos or for the edges of your scrapbook pages. And there's fun flourishes. I love those brackets, arrows. Another fun thing are these borders. And I have a ton of border, border punches and they're a pain to use. You have like a small window that actually cuts it and then you have to scoot it over and scoot it over and scoot it over. Now you don't have to do that anymore and I don't have to worry about storing so many punches, buying more and more just to get what I want. There's a ton of different um, styles of borders and you just use one machine, one cartridge and you are set with a ton of different borders and whatever size that you're wanting to do it. A cute little stocking. Here we go, here are the 3D flowers. This is how they cut. It's just circle, 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 circle with a bunch of different, you know, instead of getting scallop scissors or special kinds, this does it all for you, cuts it. You're just gonna spin it, spin it, spin it. Like I said, I'll make a tutorial to show you how easy it is to do those flowers, but you no longer have to get your big circle and then cut around and around and around. I know I mess those up all the time and this is super helpful. Cute little banners. This cupcake is one of my favorites. You do the base cupcake and then you could do a different color for um, the wrapper on it. And these down here, this is your keypad with like the layer feature. This one here shows the decorative layer feature. This is the tag. So for example, if you're wanting to make like a scallop circle tag, you can look on here to see where the scallop circle tag is, tag is and just push that button. Rather than, you know, flipping through all of these, otherwise, I think this is the easy way to go if you're looking for a particular you know, image, but if you know that you're looking for just a card that is a certain shape, this is helpful as well. And then there's font and font layer. And then let me quick, you sh quickly show you what else you get with this cartridge. It comes in a collection set. So you're gonna get three exclusive stamp sets. This one here has that cupcake that I showed you and it shows here two and a half inches. So you'll just run this through your Cricut at two and a half inches and then stamp your stamp right on it and you're set. You don't have to cut out all these little doodads. And there's a gift package and arrows, stars, tons of fun things. There's that tree I showed you and this leaf, you cut it at two inches. You don't have to worry about doing all those intricate lines and it takes a lot of time. Now you can literally do 10 of these at once and just stamp, 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 rather than cutting out 10 leaves is gonna take you a ton of time or you would just stamp it on white paper and that's not as exciting as having it, you know, pop off the page with its own little die cut. And here's another one that says, congratulations, you're invited, special, um, thank you, tons of fun things. You'll also get three of these um, dimensional elements here is one for tags. So it comes in two and a half, three and a half, and four inch size. And you know, you get tons of different shapes, tags, banners. These are the pennant banners I mentioned. You can just cut it to like two inches, put your paper right over and you have a nice thick banner um, to put on your scrapbook pages or do what you want with. But you can also, I mean, you don't have to use these to put them over. It, the, these all just have an image on the cartridge that you can cut two size if you want to use it that way. Otherwise, you can just ink up the edges and do what you want with it. And there is mixed shapes in a one and a half and two inch size. So you get your scallop circles and ovals and tons of fun shapes. So as you can see, you get a ton of stuff. The price is $99. And let me tell you, I would pay way more than $99 just for this cartridge because it eliminates, like I said, having my spellbinder dies, my punches, um, not even having to take the hours of time to cut out all the stamps when it does it for you. And even if you don't use close to my heart stamps, which I would highly recommend that you do, um, 
any scrapbooker or card maker is going to cut these images or you know use a punch form or borders or um, whatnot and so it's definitely a great cartridge to have if you have any questions or want to check out more info please visit my blog it's my passion for scrapbooking.com and i'll include that below or you can um, leave me a comment below my youtube video or send me an email via my blog you can also order this by visiting my blog and i'll have a little button on the side for the cricut and it will take you to my site to order it will be available august 1st 2011. so i hope you enjoyed my little review and like i said let me know if you have any questions thanks so much